Not far from the port, the capsule that someday soon should be carrying astronauts to the ISS is getting ready for flight. The company tweeted this picture as their latest Falcon 9 rocket went vertical at the Cape. They're hoping to launch a SpaceX Dragon capsule to the ISS tonight. But it will be carrying supplies, not people. This night launch is certain to draw a large crowd on the coast. News 6's Eric Sandoval is live at Jetty Park in Cape Canaveral tonight. And Eric, it's looking beautiful out there. How's it going on your end? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a beautiful night, Julie. And, you know, people are really starting to arrive here at Jetty Park. I want to show you some of the people who have uh, already arrived here. Lots of RVs, lots of people coming for a visit to the Cape to catch this SpaceX launch tonight. Um, it's an 1150 liftoff tonight. And, you know, as these people get ready to watch this, SpaceX is actually get ready, getting ready for the uh, official launch itself. They tweeted out a picture. I think you just showed it uh, of uh, the Falcon 9 going vertical on launch pad 4 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station uh, earlier this afternoon. Now, over the next several hours, crews are going to be fueling that rocket, and they're going to ma be making sure that all systems are go. We have some video also to show you from NASA tonight. Now, this is important. This is a cargo mission uh, SpaceX is doing for NASA under contract. Sitting atop that rocket is that Dragon cargo capsule. Now, it's loaded with more than 4,000 pounds of supplies for the International Space Station, and those supplies include some experiments involving stem cell and water droplet formation. SpaceX says the capsule will dock with the ISS on Monday morning. It'll spend about 30 days there and then return splashing down in the Pacific Ocean. Now back out here live, uh, SpaceX is saying the big concern for tonight's launch is lower level winds, and that is why they're giving it a 60% go right now. Of course, we're hoping for it, because if you've ever seen a nighttime launch, they are spectacular. The uh, flash that the rocket creates in the night air is just beautiful, and it's, and it's going to be even made better because the uh, first stage of the uh, booster is actually going to be coming back down here. It's going to land right across the breezeway here, and we are going to get a front row seat, and we'll be showing it to you right here on News 6. For now, we are live at Jetty Park in Cape Canaveral. Eric Sandoval getting results. News 6. Eric, thank you. There is nothing like a night launch. The launch window opens at 11.50 tonight. We will bring it to you live on News 6 and clickorlando.com.